history. How is the brain wired up? And if we can figure that out, what can we do with it to enhance our mental capabilities? When you look at the brain and all the parts of the brain, they don't seem to make any sense at all. If the visual part of the brain is way in the back, for example. Why is the brain constructed the way it is? Is this nothing but an accident of evolution? Well, one way to look at it is through evolution. That is, the back of the brain is the so-called reptilian brain the most ancient, primitive part of the brain that governs balance, territoriality, mating. And so the very back of the brain is also the kind of brain that you find in reptiles. Now when I was a child, I would go to the science museum and look at the snakes sometimes, and they would stare back at me. And I would wonder, what are they thinking about? Well, I think now I know. What they're thinking about was, is this person lunch? Then we have the center part of the brain going forward, and that dog slash dog slash learn to pronounce. See definitions in biology noun noun dog plural noun dogs one. A domesticated carnivorous mammal that typically has a long snout, an acute sense of smell, non-retractable claws, and a barking, howling, or whining voice. Dictionary. Definitions from Oxford languages learn more. Search for a word. Dog is similar to bdevil. Slash bdevil slash. Learn to pronounce. Verb. Verb, bedevil, third person present, bedevils, past tense, bedeviled, past participle, bedeviled, past tense, bedeviled, past participle, bedeviled, gerund or present participle, bedeviling, gerund or present participle, bedeviling. Of something bad, cause great and continual trouble to. Inconsistencies that bedevil modern English spelling. Of a person, torment or harass. He bedeviled them with petty practical jokes. Similar. Afflict. Torment. Beset. Assail. Beleaguer. Plague. Blight. Harrow. Rack. Oppress. Harry. Curse. Dog. Harass. Distress. Trouble. Worry. Torture. Frustrate. Annoy. Vex. Irritate. Pester. Irk. Exasperate. Strain. Aggravate. Use over time for bedevil. Noun. Noun, cur, plural noun, curs. An aggressive dog or one that is in poor condition, especially a mongrel. Mutt. Slash mt slash. Learn to pronounce. Noun. Informal. Noun, mutt, plural noun, mutts. One. A dog, especially a mongrel. A long-haired mutt of doubtful pedigree. Similar. Mongrel. Hound. Dog. Cur. Tyke. Pooch. Mong. Bitzer. Two. A person regarded as... Person regarded as stupid or incompetent. Do not give me orders, mutt. That's a so-called monkey brain, the mammalian brain. 
the brain of emotions, the brain of social hierarchies. And then finally, the front of the brain is the human brain, especially the prefrontal cortex. This is where rational thinking is. And when you ask yourself a question, where am I anyway? The answer is right behind your forehead. That's where you really are. Well, I have a theory of consciousness which tries to wrap it all up together. There have been about 20,000 or so papers written about consciousness and no consensus. Never in the history of science have so many people devoted so much time to produce so little. Well, I'm a physicist, and when we physicists look at a mysterious object, the first thing we try to do is to create a model, a model of this object in space. And then we hit the play button and run it forward in time. This is how Newton was able to come up with the theory of gravity. This is how Einstein came up with relativity. So I tried to use this in terms of the human brain and evolution. So what I'm saying is I have a new theory of consciousness based on evolution. And that is, consciousness is the number of feedback loops required to create a model of your position in space with relationship to other organisms and finally in relationship to time. So think of the consciousness of a thermostat. I believe that even a lowly thermostat has one unit of consciousness. That is, it senses the temperature around it. And then we have a flower. A flower has maybe, maybe 10 units of consciousness. It has to understand uh, the temperature, the weather, humidity, where gravity is pointing. And then finally we go to the reptilian brain, which I call level one consciousness. And reptiles basically have a very good understanding of their position in space, especially because they have to lunge out and grab prey. Then we have level 